In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic, subtracting, mixing numbers. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now let's have a look at subtracting mixed numbers and whole numbers. And the example we have is 4 minus 2, 1 over 4. And as you guys could see, this example looks a bit tricky because we're subtracting 4 minus 2, 1 over 4. So what if we could change 4 into a mixing number with the same denominator as 2, 1 over 4? And that is 4. So 4 turned into a mixing number with the denominator of 4 will be 3, 4 over 4. And if you guys are wondering why 3 over 4, and here is why. If you guys notice, 3, 4 over 4 is basically 3 and 1 whole. And 3 and 1 whole, or 3 plus 1 whole, will be 4. And as you guys can see, 3, 4 over 4 basically equals 4. So now, since we now had a look at this, you can do the question, and it was very simple now. So let's start with subtracting the 3 and the 2. So 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 will give you 1. So now we can subtract the fractions. So 4 over 4 minus 1 over 4. 4 over 4 minus 1 over 4 will give you 3 over 4. So this means our answer to this question is 1, 3 over 4. Now let's have a look at subtracting two mixed numbers. And the example we have is 8, 6 over 7 minus 5, 4 over 7. So for this example, let's start off by subtracting the two whole numbers, which are 8 and 5. So we know that 8 minus 5 will give us 3. So now we've done the whole number, we now move on to the fractions. So 6 over 7 minus 4 over 7. 6 over 7 minus 4 over 7 will give you an answer of 2 over 7. So this means our answer to this question is 3, 2 over 7. Now let's see how to subtract two mixed numbers. And the example we have this time is 3, 2 over 6 minus 1, 5 over 6. And as you guys could see, this example looks a bit more trickier if we use the previous method. And here is why. Because in the previous method, we subtracted the whole numbers and then we subtracted the fraction. So let's say we subtracted the whole numbers and then we move on to the fraction. But when you move on to the fraction, you can see that we have to do 2 minus 5. And 2 minus 5 gives you minus 3. And the last thing we want is a negative number. So this means we're not going to use the previous method and we're going to use something else. So as we said in our, one of our previous videos, that we can write 3, 2 over 6 and any other mixed number as 3 plus 2 over 6. So we can write a mixed number as a sum of its whole number plus its fraction. And that's exactly what we have done here. So 3 plus 2 over 6. The next thing we're going to do is going to have a look at this 3. And we're going to turn this 3 into a mixed number. So 3 as a mixed number with the same denominator, which is 6, will be 2, 6 over 6. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add this 2, 6 over 6 to the 2 over 6. 2, 6 over 6 plus 2 over 6 will be 2, 8 over 6. So right now we have 2, 8 over 6 minus 1, 5 over 6. And right now, this question is very similar to how it was in the previous one. So let's subtract the whole numbers. 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is obviously 1. And then we can subtract the fraction. So 8 over 6 minus 5 over 6. 8 over 6 minus 5 over 6 will be 3 over 6. But if you notice with 3 over 6, so 1, 3 over 6, you can see that it can be further simplified because 3 over 6 still has the highest common factor. So 3 and 6, they both have a highest common factor. So 1, 3 over 6 simplified will be 1, 1 over 2. So this means our answer to this question is 1, 1 over 2. Now to learn more on 11 plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.